Hello and welcome to Real Economy. We are here in Rome to discuss ways to get young people into the labour market. One of them is Youth Guarantee, an EU initiative to give every person under the age of 25 an offer of employment, further education or traineeship within four months of them becoming unemployed or leaving education. 14 million people have taken up such an offer thanks to the initiative, but there are still serious concerns over youth unemployment rates, especially in the south of the EU. Later, we meet young people in different parts of Italy and we interview the Italian Labour Minister. But first, a quick crash course to get you to the speed on the issue. There are 5.5 million young people in Europe who are not in education, employment or training. They're what's known as NEETS. They're the people the Youth Guarantee Initiative needs to address. Young people face specific challenges in the transition from school to work. Being new to the labour market, they're less likely to find a job or are often employed on temporary and part-time contracts. The youth unemployment rate across all EU 28 countries stood at 14.2% in August 2019. The scale of the issue varies across the EU. In Greece, the youth unemployment rate is 33%, in Spain, 32.2%, and Italy, 27.1%. Meanwhile, the Czech Republic is at the other end of the scale with 5.1%, Germany at 57 and the Netherlands at 69 All three countries seem to offer better work prospects for young people. Joining me here in Rome is Nuncia Catalfo, the Italian Labour Minister. So, Minister, many thanks for being with us. The experts say that mainly the people that are taking part in this youth guarantee scheme are mainly uh, directed to internships and not full employment. So, is this scheme enough, given, of course, the fact that uh, Italy has really high youth unemployment rates? Garanzia Giovanni is just a tool, and it's proven to be a useful one. But of course, it could be enhanced on a national level by introducing additional measures, focusing on better training and a smoother introduction into the labour market through internship programmes and such. But in the meantime, we also have to strengthen social services that must take care of these young people and help them through their education and training, because having no education means being isolated from the labour market, and this eventually leads to people being inactive or unemployed. So, I will be back to you in a while, but first let's hand over to Fanny Goret, who's been meeting some young Italians who have taken part in these youth guarantee schemes. In the southern regions of Italy, almost half of young people aged between 15 and 24 don't have a job. I'm here in La Mezzia, in Calabria, to meet Pier Domenico. He's just opened his own shop thanks to an entrepreneurship program, Yes I Startup, supported by Youth Guarantee. I decided to become an entrepreneur because I've worked a lot over the last few years. I've been underpaid and exploited, so I decided to start my own business. I heard about Yes I Startup when I had almost lost hope because I'd already tried to get a loan from a lot of banks. Passionate about comics, Pier Domenico was able to benefit from a business training course. He then asked for a 35,000 euro loan that allowed him to open his own shop. I got the funds from Invitalia, the microcredit agency, and from the Calabria region. Let's say that the Yes I Startup project hasn't saved my life, but it has changed it a little. 300 young people in Calabria put forward a project, and 60% of them were given a loan. In Italy, only 20% of young people not in employment or education are registered in the Youth Guarantee Scheme. Employment centres are not always able to offer the necessary information for young people to participate in the programme. That's why Calabria, together with other Italian regions, decided to get help from some accredited private organisations to promote different measures. In Rome, Cristina was only offered short-term contracts. So, three years ago, she applied to the program Growing in Digital, a partnership between Google and the Italian Chamber of Commerce. I was given the opportunity to attend a free web marketing course 
and then I was lucky enough to use the skills I'd acquired for a six-month internship in a company. I was able to get to know an industry I knew nothing about, made in Italy jewellery. I was also given a number of responsibilities and the internship went so well that at the end I was given a permanent contract. The project Crescere in Digitale was crucial for me because it helped to jumpstart my professional life and my career. About half of those young Italians who complete a programme financed by Youth Guarantee are now in employment. But there's still a lot to do, so Pier Domenico wanted to put a question to the minister. Is it possible to use a range of means for young people to have more information on work opportunities? So it's up to you. How would you respond to these questions? We started with 8,000 operators, but the plan is to have around 20,000 by 2021. So we will more than double that number, adding 11,600 more operators. Highly skilled people whose job is to offer assistance throughout the whole process to whoever comes to them looking for a job. Of course, we're also planning to make it easier to access information and make some digital platforms available so that the process of finding a job will be faster and more immediate, not only for young people, but for every unemployed person. Another thing is that the short-term contracts have increased in Italy. Do you think that this is the only response that you can give uh, in this context to the young people that have finished the schools or education? According to the National Institute for Statistics, employment rates in Italy have increased and there are now 70,000 more long-term contracts, thanks to a measure we introduced last year called Decreto Dignita which was precisely aimed at increasing the number of stable and long-term contracts as opposed to short-term contracts. Thanks to this measure, we were able to create more stability in the labour market, and the data proves we've been successful. So one of the key responses to youth unemployment should be investing more to education, more training and developing new skills. That's it for now. See you soon on Euronews.